Hi everyone, I am Caroline Hirons and I'm thrilled to be working with Space NK across their Clean Decoded campaign. When I first spoke to Space NK about the potential of working with them across this campaign, I had a moment where I hesitated because I only saw the word clean. And if you've been following me a long time, you will know that I am really fussy about that side of the industry and the information that is put out to the consumer. Um, I think it's open to interpretation. I think a lot of it can be done with not the clearest intention from marketing departments, for example. When they said actually it's called clean decoded and we are breaking it down into all of the different categories and trying to put as much factual information out there as possible, I was like, I'm, I'm in, let's do it. I actually don't want you to have that conversation without me, frankly. Um, Clean Decoded is an opportunity to give you, the consumer, as much info and as many facts as you can digest across the whole entire spectrum from what is natural, what is organic, what does free from actually mean, what is sustainability, what is ethically conscious, the whole caboodle. It is an eight week long campaign. I am here for the duration. Hopefully you will not be sick of me by then. Um, we will answer any question that you have and obviously I won't be able to answer all your questions but the joy of it is all the brands are ready for you to bombard them frankly. So I am going to break down into the few sections that we have and give you just the facts of what they actually mean to you as a consumer. So let's start at the very beginning. The first word that must come to your mind because it did to mine is the word natural. What does natural mean? Top line, natural generally means something is sourced from a plant, usually a plant-based ingredient. It also is important to remember though that it is a chemical process to turn that ingredient into something that you can then safely use in a product. And it also means that that has to be substantiated if someone queries your product or the claim you are making. If you are using the word natural, you have to back it up with substantiated claims. Free from. When you see free from, which is a really big buzzword at the moment, what does it mean? Technically, all it means is that brand is letting you know that their product does not contain anything that follows the words free from. It could be free from tinned tuna. It could be free from hairspray. If it says free from, and there's a long list of buzzwords, they are telling you that their product does not contain that ingredient. On a labelling point of view, all the brand is doing is giving you the information as the consumer that their product does not contain anything in that category that follows the words free from. That's it. Vegan. A lot of natural brands aren't actually vegan. Vegan means literally no animal derived ingredients are used anywhere in that product. The usual suspects are beeswax, lanolin, honey, beautiful ingredients, but not if you're a vegan. Organic. What does organic mean? Well, in the UK, a product is supposed to be over 95% organic in order to make the claim. And there is a duty to be able to substantiate any claim that you make. Generally, 95% organic means that those ingredients have been grown and sourced without the use of a traditional chemical pesticide. And we will touch more on that later, but that in theory is the word organic. There are many bodies that govern organic products. None of them have the same regulations, so there's much room for confusion, but 95% is your benchmark. Sustainability. Sustainability literally means that the brand is aware of how they are running their business. If they are taking roses from Bulgaria, lavender from Provence, uh, argan oil from Africa, are they supporting the community? Are they putting back into the community? Is it fair trade? All of that would come under sustainability. Conscious living. Conscious living is your choice. How you choose to live in our world as a consumer. Are you aware of recycling? Are you aware of your carbon footprint? Do you do anything to offset that? Do you look at excess packaging when you're in the supermarket? Everything around there comes under conscious living. So why should you shop Clean Beauty at Space NK? Well, for starters, they've done the legwork. They've collated the brands that they feel best represent that whole genre. 
you'll also find some big surprises. So if you know a Space NK store or even online on the web, you can go to a whole wall section and trust that that whole section is what you would define as clean. However, there are plenty of vegan products in Space NK that you may not even know about. So what kind of brands are you looking for if you go into Space NK and you want to shop clean beauty? Well, you've got brands that have been with Space NK for a long time, such as Ren, Tata Harper, Oskia, Malin and Gertz. I have got them here because I'm prepping other things for you. And then you've got slightly newer ranges to Space NK, such as Herbivore, Audacite, Cover Effects, Cooler. There is a wide, wide selection. There's a whole clean beauty section within Space NK, but outside of that, you have brands like Hourglass, Dr. Dennis Gross, who have a ton of vegan products. So you really need to do your research. You can ask the members of staff in store, you can do all your research online, but there's a wealth of product available to you if you want to shop clean.